Hard Cartel. Hey dudes, what's up? We're here for another Hard Cartel Work of the Day. Today we're doing legs. Uh, no supersets today. Uh, Monday we did chest, Tuesday we did back, today legs. Uh, simple sets, uh, one exercise three times, uh, and four times of that, four different exercises. So uh, we're gonna start off here with dumbbell deadlifts. Um, kind of like barbell uh, deadlifts on the rack there or something, but again, it allows for a little more range of motion, which is I like. Whereas the bar, you're limited here, with the, the dumbbells, you can follow through with your hips and kind of roll through. It can get dangerous though if you don't use proper form. Uh, if guys are twisting and using too much weight, you're gonna get hurt. So start late on this, or uh, light on this, sorry. Get a warm-up set, grab 40s if you need to, or 25s or 10s, it doesn't matter. You're not trying to impress anyone. You're trying to get the exercise. Get the full power of this motion and in coming weeks you can always up the weight and start looking like a fucking pimp. So uh, start off here, again, put the weights beside you, get a good stretch in, get a good warm up in. And the motion here is again, shoulders pull back, chest up at all times. You're pulling through with your chest. Some guys pull back through with their shoulders. As you can see, there's pulling back with your shoulders and pulling up with your chest, right? Two different motions, that's critical there. So again, athletic stance, chest up, you're draping the dumbbells along your body, sitting that ass down, driving it back. And again, you can roll through, uh, start light, and get the hang of it first. I'll show you through a few here. So um, stance, shoulder width, shoulder width. So as you can see there, you can roll through a little bit. Form is critical. Pull through and up, not back with your shoulders. Rewind the tape, do whatever you have to do. Um, form is the most critical thing on deadlifts. Um, so again, chest up, shoulder blades back, and doing three sets of that. Start off 12 reps, second set, nine, third set, six. And take about two minutes rest in between. And after that, we'll see you in the next exercise. All right, guys, so next up, we're doing narrow hack squats here. So uh, again, it's kind of good here because the machine reduces the stability you use. Uh, it's just obviously on guides, and you're not all over the place. So you get that narrow stance and really just focus on targeting those muscles right here, that teardrop uh, of the quad. So start a lightweight. You're getting a lot of range of motion on this. You're not just trying to move heavy weight and show off, as I always say. Uh, athletic stance is key. Even when you're on this machine, keep those shoulder blades pinned back and your chest popped up. And what's important on this is make sure you're not rolling your knees past your toes, okay? As you go down the machine, you have to position yourself so your knees are in line with your ankles and it's your ass that's sitting down. So again, on this machine, I'll show you here and we'll get a good shot of it. But go as far forward as you can so your knees stay in line with your ankles once in your position. And uh, Time to go to town again. Chest up, sink down, and up. And you're not locking out. Keep a slight bend at all times. And down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And as you can see, I'm staying on my heels there. It's kind of personal preference. I feel like I'm powering through. Take the stance you like. Some people are going to stay on their full foot. You can do that too. Down. So let's breathe in. And power up. So, and with this, again, you're not trying to move a lot of weight. You're trying to get a deep burn that you don't get on any other exercises. So do light weight, start 12 reps your first set, nine your second, and around eight your third. Again, you don't want to be doing heavy weights, you're doing about six reps. So, and uh, just go to town, get that burn and keep good form the whole time, and after that we'll see you in the final exercise. All right guys, so here uh, what we're doing is reverse leg swings, okay? So you're gonna be getting on the pulley, putting the lowest level, and getting one of these handy-handy things for your ankle. 
uh, and you're doing both sides, but you're gonna start on one, obviously. And what I want you to do is keep athletic position, I always say, that you're gonna keep that shoulder blades pulled back, even though you're bending over, you're not coming like this. Keep that tight body, grab on for support, and uh, again, this leg is gonna be right around the pull area, and you're swinging that back, pausing, and down. And as you can see, at first you can kind of go back, pause, squeeze that. Again, you're really working the glutes there. Squeeze it, and as the, the set continues, you're going to obviously get exhausted. So start swinging that back, kicking it, coming down. Again, kick it. Keep, again, the whole rest of your body staying tight, but you can swing that leg back. And you're really going to be targeting your hams and glutes in a way that uh, ham curls machines can't. And so do, do both legs there. And then, once you've done that, again, do both legs. We're going to be supersetting that with calf raises, okay? With a uh, seated calf raise here. So put on the weight, get in a good position. Again, you want just the balls of your, toe, of your feet right here on that. You don't want to be too far forward so you can't get a good stretch. Just the balls of your feet on there. So get in there and lift off. Again, squeeze, pause at the top, slow down, get a good stretch, pause, and lock out, slow down, deep stretch, up. Again, you'll see some guys in the gym this. That's not really using your calves at all, right? Deep stretch and slow and through. So you're going to do, again, three sets of those back and forth. Start with 12, then 9, and finish with about 6. And again, if you haven't done those before, start light. Uh, you might even be able to do elastics with it too if your pulley system doesn't work. Put an elastic around and kick that back. And you really feel that deep motion. So that's legs. I hope it was a doozy for you. Uh, if you can squeeze in some cardio, you really should. Again, uphill walking, even get on the bike, get the stretch in those legs. Um, do whatever you want, really, or get outside for a good walk. The key is, other than just lifting weights, burn those calories, get in some good habits, uh, and as always, check out hardcartel.com if you need some motivation, you need to talk to our pro trainers, or you want to pick up some supplements. We've got the protein, the pre-workout, the all-day recovery, uh, branched-chain amino acid formula, which is a lot like an energy drink. It pumps you up, gets you focused, but it's not all carbon in, gives you that shitty feeling in your stomach. So, highly recommend that. And also, the multivitamin pack that gives you all the vitamins and minerals you need. So, we got everything you need. It's called the Total Supplement Stack. Hardcartel.com, check it out. And we'll see you tomorrow with another workout of the day.